Hey there, this is Dan from Prepped and Polished. Thanks for joining us today. A lot of students, when they're taking the new SAT, see some problems that look really complex and kind of get scared and freak out. So today we're going to go over some simple steps you can take to solve these complex problems much quicker. So this problem here is from the new SAT and it's from the no calculator section. It says if AX plus 2 times BX plus 7 equals 15X squared plus CX plus 14 for all values of X and A plus B equals 8, what are two possible values for C? All right, so when we first look at this problem, it looks very complicated. We have this long thing up here, lots of variables, and even more information down here. Also, each of our answer choices has two different numbers, so it looks complicated. However, since it's a no calculator section, we're going to look for this to simplify fairly easily. Remember, we don't have a calculator. We don't have a lot of time to do this problem. They're not expecting us to do crazy things. So we're going to look for some things to sort of cancel out and make sense as we go through. So I've rewritten some stuff here. I've given us our main formula that we have. Also, the given information that a plus b equals 8, and we're looking for c. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to foil out this first part of the equation here. We'll get abx squared plus 2bx plus 7ax plus 14. So now that we have these two looking fairly similar in similar forms, we can see that right away our 14s are going to cancel out. So we're left with abx squared plus 2bx plus 7ax equals 15 x squared plus cx. Now, we can see that we have one x squared term on this side, one x squared term on this side. So, 15 has to equal ab. So, a and b have to either be, they can be 15 and 1, or 5 and 3. But, we know that a plus b equals 8, so, our a and b are going to be 5 and 3. So that we know our a and our b have to be 5 and 3, or 3 and 5. And the other terms we have here are we have two x terms here and one x term here. So, that's saying that 2b plus 7a must equal our c that's over here. Now, if this has to equal this, we can plug in 5 and 3 for A and B. It doesn't matter which one we choose, so let's choose 5 for B, and let's choose 3 for A equals C. Remember, that's what we're looking for. So 2 times 5, of course, is 10, plus 7 times 3 is 21. That equals 31, which equals C. So. Right there, if we look at our answer choices, 31 is only in one of our answer choices, so it clearly have to, has to be D. So, since 31 equals C, 31 is only one of our answer choices, we can go right ahead and choose D and move on. However, if you wanted to, you could check it by switching the 5 and the 3 to make it a 3 and a 5, put them into our equation, and you would have gotten 41. So here's another example from the new SAT math no calculator section. Uh, it says, what if 3x minus y equals 12, what is the value of 8 to the x over 2 to the y? So students might see this, they'll either get freaked out, they see the exponents, they might try and isolate an x or a y variable here, plug it in over here, or they even might go to their answer choices and try and figure out what these values are. But remember, it's the no calculator section, you don't have a lot of time to answer it, so look for things to simplify easily. So if we rewrite what we're looking for over here, 8 to the x over 2 to the y, we hopefully we'll realize that in order to compare these two, we need to have the same base. So, we know that 2 to the third power is equal to 8. Therefore, if we substitute in 2, for, two to the third for 8, we can rewrite this as 2 to the third to the x power over 2 to the y. Then, if we rewrite it again here, this is 2 to the third times the x, so 2 to the 3x over 2 to the y. 
Now, hopefully, if you look back at your problem here, you notice that you have 3x, y, 3x, and y. So, so if you remember your exponent rules, when we're dividing numbers, we're going to subtract our exponents. So, this whole thing is the same as 2 to the 3x minus y. We're just subtracting our exponents. We also know that 3x minus y equals 12, so this, we can rewrite this as 2 to the 12th. Go right to our answer choices, circle A. So a lot of students see graph problems and they freak out immediately. It's one of the biggest things that I see students kind of get worried about and want to just skip right away. But in reality, a lot of times they're easier than they seem. So our question here gives us our graph and it says which of the following are equal to one? So remember guys, some people will think about their functions, they'll want to define the lines here. We don't even have to, it gives us the graph. We know that f of negative four simply just means if x is negative four, what's our y value? So all we have to do for this problem is find negative four x on our graph right here, okay? And if we look at what our y value is, 1, then yes, f of negative 4 is equal to 1. So we know that this is true. And remember, it's one of these types of problems where we have our different options here. So if 1's true, boom, boom, you get rid of two answers right away. So if we look here, we actually don't even need to look at 3 because it's in both of our answers. We'll go there after. But in the interest of time, don't even worry about number three, it's gotta be true. So let's just look and see if number two is. Number two says f of three over two. Now remember three over two guys, simple, don't put it in your calculator, it's 1.5. So 1.5 would be somewhere right around here, our x value, and our y value is of course one. So this one's true, therefore our answer is d. All right guys, so just to recap what we learned here today, first off, remember that you want to look for things to simplify easily and you can cancel out like terms. Then you want to remember your exponent rules and if you're comparing exponents, make sure you have a common base. And lastly, graph problems aren't as hard as you think and if they involve Roman numerals, make sure to solve each Roman numeral at a time and cancel out answer choices as you go. Alright guys, thanks for joining us today. Uh, if you liked our video, make sure to give us a thumbs up on YouTube and check out our website, preppedandpolished.com and good luck.